from Jets Spaniel Youth Services. I hope you're all doing okay out there in isolation land and using this time to pursue a creative passion or interest. Today I'm going to be taking you through a simple tutorial. This will be using the humble biro and the technique of scribbling. Let's have a go. As you can see here, I've got two biro pens. So they're just basic black ink ballpoint pens. Um, you can use any old pen that you might have in the cupboard. I've chosen to um, have two because doing this project before, I often have run out of um, one biro. So it's good just to have a backup. Ultimately, you could also use a different color. So you'll see as I go but the picture has a lot of light and dark so um, another way of kind of approaching it could be that you use different color to represent um, the different shadows or light in your picture all right so I'm just going to get started now and the process starts with just scribbling out the shape of the objects So just using really light mark making, I'm just looking at the image in front of me and just getting an idea of the negative and positive space. The negative being the dark space and the positive being the light. If we were to make this picture black and white, which it's ultimately going to be, we need to consider where shadows are and the light of the picture is that's ultimately going to define our image. Just lightly scribbling, as you can see, just sort of curling actions, just to get a bit of a feel for where everything sits in the picture. And as I go on, I'll build up these scribbled areas. Now, I'm just being careful to only lightly scribble, give myself a bit of an understanding of the shapes, where they sit in relation to each other. This is the top of this vase here, and I can see behind that there's the teapot handle, but it's very, very light in that little part of the handle, so I'm gonna leave that and come around to the top here of the teapot. Now the idea will be that as I go on, these areas that are super dark, almost black you almost won't be able to see the scribble they'll just look very dense when they lead into what is the shadow underneath them the great thing about this little project is that you don't need much all I've got is a biro and a piece of paper a great little lamp here but you can probably even do it without that and Slowly, I'll just build up this image. Here we are everyone, the final results of my ballpoint pen project. As you can see, I've built up the layers in this image by just scribbling over and over and over to create the shadow. 
This could definitely do with some more work, this picture, but it certainly gives you an idea of the kind of effect you can get just from using a very basic material. I hope that you've all enjoyed this video and look forward to doing more for you in weeks to come. Good luck and stay safe out there. Bye now. This is Lisa from Banyul Youth Services signing off.